Nepalese families are very, very closely tied. In a family, the father is the main man, and the mother does all the looking after the children, cooking, and of course, looking after the guests. The role of a man is, is different from that of a woman. No, that doesn't mean that women are put down as a second class, but it's, it, the job is uh, divided such a way that man does the hard work, like killing animals, cutting trees down, plowing the field, and women does the seed, seedling, uh, seeding of the seedlings, feeding the children, feeding the, uh, the animals, and cooking the food for the uh, family. And the woman will not eat her food until husband is at home or until husband finishes his food. She eats when everybody is fed. The, this rule does not apply to every family in the village or in Nepal. The women sometimes has a task other than just looking after children. She has to manage the guests. She has to get up in the morning, make the fire, cook the food, and then look up, make sure the children are okay, milk the cow, again, make sure all the pots and pans are done, then go outside and do the normal farming chores. Some big families has a task divided into uh, different versions. The boys will go out, do the plowing of the field, and cutting the trees down and getting the firewoods, and the women will go, go out and fetch all the firewoods back home. Once they finish that, of course the men finish, they, they finish for the, for the day, for the night. The women then have to come home, grind the crop or the corn using handheld grinders and cook the food. If they are lucky enough, incidentally, many uh, uh, families in Nepal will able to afford to eat meat only once in a blue moon because meat is very expensive. So their main diet consists of what they grow. Pulses, potatoes, rice, wheat. And varies from region to region. In the east of Nepal, where, I'm, where I, I was born, we don't grow rice, so we don't have much rice. We eat potatoes because we grow potatoes, wheat, corn. And people down the valley, they grow rice, so they eat mainly rice. But we show up, they bring the rice up to us, and we give them the uh, potatoes. So that's, what, that's how we used to live. But uh, with the commercialization, now there are uh, a, a value of money has grown. So they sell things to us, and we sell our things to, to them. The what pitching of the water again is, was a big issue. Some people have to travel a long way to fetch the water. But with outside help, many, many villages do have a running water in the village, not far from their house or in front of the houses. The, with the lucky people, they do have water inside, but not as we know it. Just the running water in running or out. There's no taps or running toilet or the showers. Uh, these are not uh, known in the villages so they don't even try it because they have done without it for so many years and that's another uh, expense for many people which they cannot afford. 